Julio, this is lesson number 54, and we're continuing with the martial arts applications for the first section of the short form. Um, last time we ended up with withdrawing. Now the next posture is to push. So simply, and we've already covered some of this, okay? So we're not going to cover the same postures every time. Uh, but here again, after you do that withdrawal, you're going to push. Or if someone is punching at you, you can block and strike and push. So that's the application. After you do the withdraw, you shift back, reposition your hands, and then you're going to push. So it can be a push or it can be a grab and strike at the same time. Now from here, what we're going to do after you do that push, you're going to shift back. And it's called cross hands. So after you do the withdraw, reposition your hands and you're going to push. Then you're going to bring your hands up because we're going to do cross hands. So the applications, again, if someone is coming at you trying to uh, grab your throat, the application is just bringing your hands up. Now in the form, after you do that, what do we do? Oh, just step back. So after you've withdrawn, you've repositioned your hands, you've done your push, you shift back, you bring your hands up, that's cross hands. We're going to enter into cross hands here. So again, that's a block. Someone's coming at you, they're trying to choke you, you're blocking. So here we are. They're blocking. Now, in the form, what do we do? We're going to pivot, right? We're going to pivot this way. And the application of that pivoting is grabbing and striking at the same time. So from cross hands, you're going to pivot because you want to face now 12 o'clock. The application is you're grabbing and you're striking at the same time. It's almost as if when you, um, um, you're shifting to grab that ball and you're bringing it over so you can play the guitar earlier in the form. So that's the application. So we're doing push, cross hands, and then we're turning. The turning is a grab and strike. And then after we do that turn, right, we place all of our weight on our left leg. We bring our right foot back. We go from heaven to earth here, and we bring our hands back here. The application for that is after you've turned, right, and you're coming over here, the application is this. So the application is you're coming around like this. The application is being able to grab your opponent's wrist and doing this. And then being able to push. So the application, once again, is it's going from heaven to earth. The application, as you're fighting, right, as you're doing push hands, and we haven't done that yet, but as you're fighting, there may be a chance for you to be able to grab one of those arms, one of those wrists, and be able to, what, jam them up this way. So that's the application of coming around this way. The other application, so if we're here, we're doing cross hands, we turn, that's the application here, grabbing your opponent's wrist, okay, um, the unlocking them there. The other application is if they're striking, let's say they're striking to my face, it's just a simple block. That's the other application of cross hands. So the application of cross hands is a, a simple block. The application also, as you're um, applying it, the other application for cross hands is simply this, locking up your opponent, his arms, okay? And then pushing or pulling them. Um, and I think that uh, after cross hands, that completes the first section of the short form.